We've come on now to Bill's Thorpe to visit Maid Marian Lofts, owned by Mitchell Brothers, and this is our fourth visit to the King's Cup winners. Good morning, Gary and John. Thanks for letting me come and see the pigeons today. It's a great pleasure. Can you tell me about one or two of your best performances? Well, the best performances to date are two first opens in the Midland Championship Club and first open in the North Road Championship Club from Lerick when we won the King's Cup with a pigeon that we call number seven flying 14 hours on the day. Great performance, mate. How about federation-wise? Do you race in the federation? Yes, we race in the federation. We've had quite a number of firsts over the years. Yeah, what, what strain of pigeons do you keep? The strain that we concentrate on most now are the Van Wildermersch, yeah. crossed with the Jerome Kellens, which are the base of the Wildermersch. This is another Van Wildermersch cock, but this one was first section, first open, Midland Championship Club, winning a clock and a gold medal. Then he damaged his wing and now he's retired to stock. What system of racing do you find in, Gary? Well, just a normal Witherwood system. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's lovely loft. Look really, really well at the pigeons. I know it's still feeding. When do you pair the widows up? Uh, about the 6th of February I paired up. Yeah. What sort of distances do you like racing with your Woodward pigeons in? Do you fly like long distance with them? Yes, I prefer the distance. Uh, probably from 200 up, which I do prefer and seem to do well. I like wouldn't look uh, pretty often the Scottish averages and gold yeah. medals from Perth, well, like the car from Lyric. And yeah. How many Woodward cocks do you keep? 36. Yeah, it's just a nice number, that, isn't it? Yeah. First off, we're going to look at John. Is your young bird loft? Yes. Very smart. Yes, this is the loft that we won in 1993 from Larrick with the King's Cup winner. It's open door trapping system. Yeah, it was. You got two sections. Yes, there's two sections. How many babies you breed each year, then, John, to, to race? Well, to race, we race between 70 and 100 young birds. Yeah, that's a good idea in the box purchase, the grills, keeps them nice and clean, doesn't it? Yes. And it also encourages them to pair up with having their own boxes. Yeah. Do you race through the programme with them? Yes. How, how, how far do they fly in distance, the longest young bird race? Well, at the moment, the longest young bird race is around about 200 miles. But you know, we prefer to go farther. This is the main racing loft where we race Widderhood. There's two sections and it faces north. And with it facing north, we've put fiberglass panels in the roof to let the heat come through. Yes, yeah, so you've got two Widderhood sections, John. Yes, two Widderhood sections. And then the young birds. Then at the side of it is another young bird loft with three sections where we race the second team of young birds. Right lads, I'll ask you a bit about your widowhood system. What do you feed? Well at the moment we do feed uh, spillers, spillers breeders. I we will be racing on spillers breeders. Yeah, how about breakdown? Do you break the pigeons down? Uh, probably at the beginning of the year, but as the distance increases, no I won't bother. No, you what, the sort of long distance you don't break them down? No, no. And uh, I up the peanuts, I feed a good percentage of peanuts. Yeah, do you uh, show the hens on Friday night? Uh, I do on a Friday night at the race on Saturday, but if we basket for the distance, say on a Wednesday or Thursday, I will not show the ends. I'll just turn the bowls over and give them the bowls for probably no. 10 minutes. How about a Saturday when they come home? How long do they get oh, the ends yes, for? Uh, they get the ends then. Well, up to half an hour, an hour. Yeah. Just when we've got time to take them away, really. There's no set time. Yeah, so you like the Widowood for all distances right through to the Lyric? Yes, yes, we was on uh, Widowood when we won the King's Cup. This is Checker Cock, call number seven. This is the pigeon that won the King's Cup in 1993 from Lerick, flying 480 miles, 14 hours. And what strain is he, John? It's a Van Wildermersch across Jerome Callens. He's a Widderwood pigeon too, wasn't he? Yes, he was on Widderwood and he'd spent six days in the basket before yep. they were liberated. He's now at stock, is he? Yes, now he's at stock and 
and a right old time. He's been with seven different ends already this year. Yeah. On the bull system. That's incredible, isn't it? Right. When we sent to Lurick in 93, we only sent the four with the cocks. And in the club, we were first, second, fifth, and seventh. He's certainly a quality looking pigeon, John. Yes, he is. And now he's starting to breed the goods as well. This is the King's Cup winner's home now. He's putting a section on his own with his hen. So his parentage of his youngsters can be guaranteed. The King's Cup winner. You've got some very nice stock lots here, John. How many stock birds do you keep? At the moment, we've got 60 pair of stock pigeons. We keep them in four different sections with the nest boxes in, and then the rest just kept spare. When do you pair the stock birds up then, John? Well, usually in the last week in December. Actually, looking at your stock lofts, it looks like you're a bit of a stock man. You enjoy breeding pigeons. Yes, I enjoy the breeding side, and my brother enjoys the racing side. Out of these stocks lofts over the years, there's absolutely thousands of winners come out of these lofts. Yeah, because you've won quite a few local champions, you've bred quite a few local champions too, haven't you? Yes, there's 95% of the club members fly our pigeons. This is where we practice the bull system, where we pair them up and the cock and the end don't meet, through the, only through the bars. We take the end out, pair it to number seven. The champion. The champion. And as soon as the end lays a second egg, we fasten the middle gate back and the cockbird goes through and sits on the eggs, thinking that he is. The father of them. And the father of them. Yeah, and he sit them for you then. And he'll sit them and rear them up for you. Yeah. My, my friend Bobby Besant done this with his um, Bordeaux National winner as well. He, he had him running with us several ends in one yeah. season. It's incredible really. He must be very patient to do that, John. Oh, it doesn't take a great lot of time. It's just the effort of cleaning them out and keeping them separated. Well, lads, thanks very much for allowing me to come see the pigeons today. It's a great pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you come round and take some interest in our lofts. Thanks. I've enjoyed it. And all the best for the new season. All right.